turn your microphone on. The wings are telling me. I know, I just told you. They can hear our voices now, too. <laughs> going to paint the brush. I'm going to paint the things with the paintbrush, like yeah. these. This is the paintbrush. That's oh, the first player marker. It's cute. Yep. Hola! Matthew Vincent is here. I hear voices. <laughs> don't, don't talk back to them, Matthew. That's how bad things happen, brother. All right. We are here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is a beautifully overcast and rainy Friday and mm -hmm. we've we've already had kind of a eventful day not bad I mean sure just eventful we've been busy uh, Nuno Rebetto I thought there were ghosts in the house Ooh, la, la. those are nice ghosts if they sound like that hi how are you I know hi they can hear our voices <laughs> they can hear us isn't that special? <laughs> and a giggle. Yeah. Yeah, a little good. giggle. Those are good those are good ghosts. You can you can keep them around. We have had an eventful day. We've we 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 both got up at early six six thirty in that window of time. Which is um, pretty early for my day off. But. My son, David, had a graduation ceremony. He was the uh, Kim, I don't even know what it's called. He's a non-commissioned officer. He's an NCO. Advanced leadership. Advanced leadership course, in in Oklahoma, and um, he's in the U.S. Army and he was graduating today. His advanced leadership course. So um, we got up to watch that, and the wonderful tech teams at that installation did such a wonderful job and we didn't get to see but maybe 10 minutes of it <laughs> so, we're gonna try to hope yeah, that it's like no, uploaded and now we can watch yeah. it now but we can't seem to i don't think that's gonna happen it was a struggle to watch it let's say yeah. that it was <clears throat> cutting out where it would loop the yep. same people graduating yep. for we, 10 minutes yeah we watched time. we watched about five people graduate about 20 times I imagine. <laughs> right, like just it looped but it it's crash, all right loop, we sent him a, we sent him a little video via text told so, him we were there and trying to watch so he knows we were there he knows we were trying to watch but it, it's uh just one of those things and then after that we went to the range went and shooting for a little bit and then we went to go get dutch bros and we came home, had a good to his mom's place and then came home had lunch and set up got ready to go so that is what we are doing here Took a little bit of an easy Friday today. Um, but we are going to be playing two games. This is a double header from 25th Century Games. And uh, these are a couple titles that they've sent me recently. And these are both 2024 titles. So these are like brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. So we're going to be playing, uh, you already have it, you see it there. We're going to be playing Color Field first. And then after that, we're going to be playing this roll and write called uh, French Quarter. Have you ever been to the French Quarter before? Mm -mm. You're not missing much. It's pretty dingy. It's cool. Don't get me wrong, but it's There's so much history there. It's like glamified a little bit. Yeah, I would like to go, but like take like a historical tour because sure, there's so much history yeah. there. That would be super. Don't neat. don't go during the party places, Please party no. things, and no, Mardi no, no. Gras. There's, just skip all of that. Yeah, no, Mardi Gras is not a good time to go to the French Quarter. No, I would love to go to the French Quarter. But really see some of that history. That's so cool. My best friend in high school, he was a lead guitarist in the band, in the garage band that we were in. And he had his birthday party at the Hard Rock Cafe mm -hmm. in the French. In, uh, in New Orleans. New Orleans. It's not in the French Quarter. but And before we went to dinner, 
we walked around the French Quarter mm. a little bit. It was pretty neat. It's pretty neat. I mean, but it's it's just like any other city. It's probably changed a lot now because that was before that huge hurricane came through. Mm -hmm. Hurricane so it's probably Katrina. Katrina, yeah. Uh, so it's probably changed that. a lot by then, but since then. But um, that's the only time. Oh, wow. Ding, um, ding, ding. Ping, ping. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we were using this. I never have this n not muted. Oh, so we missed everything? No, it's... Oh, that is not muted. Got yeah, it. the computer was not muted. I so see. when something... That was Ding. the computer. Okay. Sam, computer. Sounds like Sam's stream a few years ago. Wow, Timon. Wow. It, it was underwater. Cut me deep, Shrek. <laughs> no, Sam stream the our what the military stream was like this morning. He was like, "This sounds like Sam stream about a couple years ago." Cut me. All right, bro. That was shots fired. That's what that was, Timo. Um, bum bum bum. Per perfect board game weather. David says. I agree. Spring rain rules. Blue bonnets are out too. Yeah, flowers are in force. Um, we were driving by some trees the other day. I'm going to go get my book. And I asked. I'm going to go get my go book. Go get your book. Go get your book. I, we were driving by some trees, some orchards. <laughs> going to go get my book. So you can just shut up. It's not my misquote. If you. <laughs> it is not watched, my misquote. If you have watched. Uh, Jesse's uh, top ten books of all time, which is a, gr a great list, um, especially if you're if you're if you're a bibliophile, you love books, you you that kind of thing. Then <laughs> it's a great list for you to go watch. Um, but she apparently what Anne of Green Gables is that who you're uh, quoting quoting Anne of Green Gables? Okay, but wait, wait before we show that or before we say that, I would like to say this is my copy of Anne of Green Gables. This is my second copy of Anne of Green Gables. My first copy I burned through. But I opened it up, and there's a bookmark that I had yeah. with my writing on it, mm -hmm. with a quote. Um, Where is it? Right here. I, I know exactly what chapter. Um, I was scary. beginning to be afraid you weren't coming for me, and I was imagining all the things that might have happened to prevent you. I had my mind made up, but if you didn't come for me tonight, I'd go down the track to that big wild cherry tree at the bend and climb up in it and stay in it all night. He wouldn't be a bit afraid. I wouldn't be a bit afraid. And it would be lovely to sleep in a wild cherry tree, all white with bloom in the moonshine, don't you think? You could imagine you were dwelling in marble halls, couldn't you? Maybe, maybe <laughs> because of the moonshine, maybe because of the, the moon shining right. on the leaves, but it looks look white. white. Maybe. I don't know. But wild cherry tree. Is it different than a cherry tree? Is a wild cherry tree? Do they have different color blooms? I don't know. All, All I I'm know is, is it says it Cherry I mean, look, Blossoms look, are pink. This is literally a quote that I have on there and it says, It's been my experience that you can nearly always enjoy things if you make your mind up firmly that you will. Yep. It's That's a good quote. in my book. It's a good quote. Not so sure about the whole cherry blossom thing though. We were driving by some <laughs> some uh, apple That's orchards, hilarious. and I was like, "Hey, what kind of trees are those?" Apple. And she looks over there. <laughs> I knew where he was going. I'm like, "Those are apples." <laughs> and says, "Those are apple trees." I'm like, "How can you tell?" And she, and she said, "Because of the white apple flowers. blossom, the white flowers." I was like, "Oh, really?" I thought they were cherry trees. And no. And I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> that was on my top ten list of my favorite books, and that quote. And Sam was like, They're, uh, cherry blossoms are pink. And I'm like, my book <laughs> says white. Here it is, Anna Green Gables. Uh, he didn't want to be a jarhead. No, he did not want to be a jarhead. Um, my oldest son, Michael, wanted to be a jarhead, but that didn't work out. Um, but, uh, yeah, David joined the Army. Mm -hmm. He's uh, airborne artillery mm -hmm. stationed over in a... Fort Liberty. Fort Liberty used to be Fort Bragg. Um, North Carolina. 
in North Carolina, right? How nice to end the day with a live play. Nuno Rebello. Very good. Yes. It's been a very stressful day. I'm sorry, Nuno. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, stressful days are not fun. But no, especially hopefully on you a can Friday. end them on a positive note with us. Thank you. You can release it and just have a good weekend. Uh, I have a Beretta CX-4 that I need to take to the range. Um, we've got Glocks. She's got a 43X and I've got a 48. Glock 40. No, 40. I can't remember the numbers. It, it's it's just like 43. hers. Yeah, 43X. And I have a 40-something. And it's basically the barrel is just an inch longer than hers. That's the only difference between her gun and my gun. Uh, plum blossoms are pink. Cherry blossoms are mostly white with a slight tinge of pink. That's what I said, pink around the edge. When you... No, that's not what you said. No, but when I was explaining it in the top ten, I said they're white, but they do have a pink. Mm. I edited it. And I don't think yeah. I remember you saying that. Whatever. Um, but yes, when you look at a cherry cherry tree, they look pinkish. It's super pink. Yeah. It, it's not pinkish. It's very super pink. pink. It's a very vibrant pink. And it's that quote. I'm like, look, it's in the book right here. I don't know. Glock, Orange. the Honda Civic of handguns. That is correct. That's not one disagreeing of the reasons, with that statement. One of the reasons I bought it um, because I want. To, Stability, reliability, because frankly, if something <laughs> goes wrong, well, I'm not going to be able to fix if it. If something goes wrong, Sam shoots, not me, because no. I'm not so good. I did hit the target I today. walked into the gun chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're not chatting about guns. It's just something we did this morning. We went to the range this morning. So anyway, we'll, we will continue. Now the Kabuki Kid's here. We have to straighten up and fly straight. That's not the right way to say it. I have no idea. What was that? What was I trying to say? Straighten up and fly right? Sure. Anyway, <laughs> uh, color field. Color field. All right. So we are playing color field first tonight. Uh, today. We're going to, this is from 25th Century Game. It's 2024 release. And um, it is by... Designed by Mondo Davis with uh, artwork by, well, I, I would say probably artwork slash graphic design by uh, Peach Benitez. Um, so it is for two to four players, ages 10 and up, and it should take 20 to 45 minutes. This is not a very difficult game at all. Rule book is right here and is quite thin. Um, but generally speaking, there's going to be three rounds. And in those three rounds, we're trying to uh, connect as many of the three colors there. Well, I, I guess there's, let me see, there's four colors. So there is turquoise, which is um, what Jesse's main color is here, but that has nothing to do with that. Then there is, um, what, it, what was it called? Coral. Coral, thank you very much. <laughs> Lemon and navy. Those are the four colors. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get uh, we're going to start off with some foundations. So let's go ahead and do that first. Now you have to put this on your one spot and I'll put this on my one spot. The little uh, A symbol has to be pointing up towards the top. Okay? Okay. Then you're going to get another one. That has to go on the number two. They don't have to match. This is just you putting paint down onto your canvas as a starting point. All right, you get another one. That goes on three. Make sure that it's facing, that arrow is facing upwards. We'll get down to the cool. table in just a minute, folks. You got it? If we remember. Four. I'm gonna remember. Five. <clears throat> that was not good. And six. All righty. Okay. And now we have the beginning of round one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take three of these tiles and we're going to flip it over on the palette. Now we'll go down to the board. All right, so we have these three things out here. So if it has a number on it, it means that if you match that edge on your uh, canvas, then that's going to score you two points. For every edge that you match, it's going to, unless it has a number like that, will score one point at the end of the round. We're going to uh, take five turns each, basically. I'll start, since I have the first player token, 
And uh, in, this, in the second round, you'll go first. In the third round, I'll go first. So that's that. All right, so what happens here? You're going to, on your turn, choose one of these uh, tiles to add to your uh, canvas by replacing one of the tiles that's there. As you're putting it in there, you can rotate it and orient it however you wish. I mean, it has to be flat edges. You know, don't put it diamond shaped down there, you know, that kind of thing. But you can rotate it any way you wish while you're placing it. But once you've placed it, it can't move anymore. Okay? So that's how it stays. Now, um, you also have these inspiration tokens that are over here on the side. Okay? And these inspiration tokens here can be used to, after you have placed a tile later on, you can rotate it again, if you wish, or you can swap it with one of the other tiles on your canvas. That's what an inspiration token can be used. It doesn't take your action to do that, and you can use any number of inspiration tokens at the same time. So you could use all three of them if you wanted to. I mean, it would you know mess you up for the rest of the game, but... You could use them at any time. Sure. All right. Um, at the end of round one, once we have taken five turns, choosing a tile and adding it to our thing, the discarded tile goes here in your discard pile. And so these once count as the discarded pile. Yes. And so once, once, you, once both of us have five tiles in our pile here, that'll be the end of the round. Now. If you draw a tile, that does not mean that you must place it on your canvas. You can choose to just discard it. If you get it over here and you're like, well, this doesn't really help me that much, boom. You just discard it. And that's the one you discard. Okay? Then at the end of round one, we're going to be using the round one's things in this. We'll tally our scores and we'll move our point marker here. Then... We will go into round two, and there's a few things we have to do for round two, but let's wait until we get there to do it. Sure. One last thing. The book actually says not to use these in your first game. This is our first game. We're going to use these. <laughs> um, this is advanced play. So basically, this he is like... throws me right in there. Yeah, exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn one of these over. Boom. And this gives us a special thing that is active for round one only. In round two, we're going to flip over another card. All right. So this one says, you may discard and replace the three face-up palette tiles before your turn. Normally, um, you have to go with what's out there. But if you're like, nah, I don't like any of those. With this, you can say, and then draw three new ones. And then you can take your turn. All right? Does that make sense? Wouldn't that make mean there's less turns in that round? Well, this goes up to four players. So I don't think as two players we're going to go through this entire deck. Because hmm. we're only going to choose two out of these three. Oh, I mean... Yeah, but then you do it again. True. I don't think so. we'll run out. Because if you think about it, there's enough <coughs> cards here for, a, for four people to choose... Uh, five tiles. Got it. All right. Okay. So there's 20 things here. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not going to worry about that. Cool. Anyway, that's what this is. There are We have two additional inspiration tokens over here because one of these cards allows you to use five inspiration tokens that round. Mm. So we're keeping, keeping them over here because unless that card comes up, we're restricted to three in a round. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions from... <coughs> Oh, it does the peanut say the, gallery. It does say if the desk run, <clears throat> deck runs out, you reshuffle. Add them in and reshuffle. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, a well-placed <coughs> nerf can cause irritation. That is correct. Nerf. Nerf gun. Mm -hmm. That was Kabuki Kid. I don't know. Placed to what? Well-placed. In other words, if you aim right and fire... Oh. It can cause irritation. It definitely I, I can. I don't think I can name right. Uh, my full size is a PPQ and my EDC is a P365. I have no idea what all those acronyms mean, David. I am. Um, we have it for home defense. That is it. And I am not a. 
I'm not a gun gun shooty shooty person person. Um, I go practice with my <laughs> my sh my pistol and that's it. Um, I, I got a little bit more than fifty percent of all my rounds on the target today, so that was that was a win. Yeah, she she did better. She's getting back to it. Her MS makes it more difficult for her to pull the trigger. She has less feeling in her hands, so she has to really try hard, and she's doing well. Maybe you already played it and live it li and live and missed it. Nope, uh, we have not tried Canvas yet. No, so he said that he thinks Jesse will enjoy it. Oh, okay, cool. Let's try. We'll try it. All right. So here we Let's go. Play. Uh, I'm choosing first. Yes, please. So, um. My and these pieces kind of, some of them don't come all the way in. That's okay. Okay. Like, okay. Cool. All right. Uh, one last thing <laughs> that you're going for is your, your uh, a, uh, I can't remember what they call it, a swath? A, no, a, 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 an area. An area. Ooh. That was my technical oh. term there. Look at that. What was it I called? Was... It was called largest patch. Okay, so your largest patch is also going to score you points. So if you have, uh, I don't think I have anything on, on the board right now, but if you have a patch <laughs> that matches the board and then it goes across one, two, three, four, and then it comes off, you'll get a point for every patch that it goes through. All right, but we'll go through that later on. All right, um, let's see here. What have we got? We've got those. Mm. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one, I think. And, yep, I'm going to replace this like that. All right, so I've got a match here and I've got a match here, but I also have a match over here as well. Okay, so, and then this goes into my discard pile. Now it's your turn. Cool. So we take another one out. Boom. Cool. Why didn't I take the two? I'm an idiot. Mm. I don't know. This is causing my brain to hurt. Already. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm already like, how do Come I? Come on. What? How do I? Um, okay, I'm going to take this one yeah, that's and replace I, this guy. I should have taken the two. But I don't know how I'm going to fit it in I'm a dork. There. I'm a dork. Didn't really work. Pretty good. But. Bing bong. Um, I think I want to. I want to take this one and I'm going to put it right here. Oh, that kind of sucks though. Oh. All right, I'm going to put it right there like that. Your turn. Thank you. Wow, this is kind of. It's kind of hardy. I it's not. Hurt. It's not that. I'm gonna bad. take this one. It's not that bad, but I mean, it. this this does kind of, you know, make my brain hurt. No, it doesn't make anybody's brain hurt. I'm just trying to wonder. I'm trying to see how I'm gonna get a large patch. You yeah. have to have a patch of at least three tiles in order to score. So, um, all right, another one comes out. Uh, let's see, a two. Mm, if a two goes up there, no, two goes over there. Oh, that would work. Kind of, kind of, sort of. I think I'll try that. I'm going to try this. And, oh boy, that's not a good choice. What was I thinking? Um, no, <laughs> poo poo. Mm, I don't really know how to make these line up, but I will try. I guess. Um, oh, 
Jeez, I am I'm gonna so go bad here. I'm not, I'm not good at this either. But I, I kind of like it so far. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna do this. Oh, that, no, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, you gotta just do it now. You touch it. Suck. I don't think I'm gonna get a patch of That's pieces, three. But I'm okay. All right, you've already chosen one, yes. so I gotta. I'm going back to it now. Um. <sighs> Holy nuts. Um, that's horribly bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. I don't know how this is all going to work out, but... I like the simplicity of it. I like the visuals of it. This kind of works. Um, oh man, that sucks so bad. Well. Go ahead. Um, so freaking bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I agree. Um, I think I'm overthinking things. So, um, I'm just going to take this one and then I'll take one of these and I'll make it work. That's my new approach. What's that? I'm just going to take one of these. Oh, you're just, you're moving it before you even get the. Yeah, because I can't. Um, I don't, <laughs> just, I don't, I'm going to, I'm going to use this. I don't like any of these. So I'm going to get rid of all of these and place out three new ones. I don't know if that's a good idea. It wasn't because all of those suck too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's making, I'm trying to make a patch. I can't make a patch. And that's the hard part. I can't make a patch. I skipped the batch already, and I'm just trying to go with, like, that, things that match. I mean, literally, <laughs> that's the hard part. I'm like, are you kidding me? So, um, if... No, that doesn't help. <laughs> oh, my heave. This is our last turn in this round. Yes, it is. And that's what's... Well, I guess maybe I should... I should take this one and at least score more points for that. Mm. Now, see, that was a good move because I turned a two-pointer into, like, a four-pointer. I predict you're going to beat me. So not bad Let's at all. Let's just all right, say so that that's right five. Off the bat. Okay. Yes. You got yours? Yes. You got five tokens over there? Uh, one, two, three, forty-five. Yep. Okay. So here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to score each of our tiles in order, starting over here. So with mine, I have a match here on the edge of the canvas, so that's one point. I also have one here. It's one point. I also have a match here. It's one point. This one's two because it has the number two there. So it's one, 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 and plus two, that's, that's five. So I'm up to five. Your first one, you have a match here, which is two. No match, a match here, which is one, and a match here, which is one. So two, three, four. All right, so you're up to four. Now my second one, I have a match here, which is one. That's not a match. This is not a match. This is a match, so that's one, so that's only two. One, two. I have none on my second one. Really? That's the one I didn't move. Bing, 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 bing. No, oh, right. okay. So on to the third one. I have a match here. That's one point, two points, and nothing, nothing. So again. I have one, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three, four. And then on my third one, I have one, two, three, just three. One, two, three. What about you? 
One, two, three, four, five. Oof. One, two, three, four, five. And then the next one, I have nothing, one, two, nothing, three. One, two, three. Go ahead. I have one, two, three, three four. four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to lose. Over here, I have nothing, 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 one. I have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. All right. So now the person that is in first gets to keep none of their tiles on their canvas. Okay, oh, they all go away. Right, they all go away. The person that's in second gets to keep one one tile. So I think I'm gonna take and keep this corner one up here, but all the other ones go away. I tried to wipe the schmutz off them. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that I was like, ah. So now all of the round one uh, tiles are out of the picture. Okay, and these foundation tiles are also gone. Um, where Make are your, sure you're not missing. Yeah, let's keep this. Um, so this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. These are Is all foundations. Is this my discard pile from the round one? Yeah, but now they, you... I had the foundation ones in there too. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one, and these are all round one, and then these are all foundations. Okay, so we'll keep those over here. Okay. All right, so now what we do is this switches over here. We get a new community tool. The new community tool says all players take six turns this round, not five. Okay. All right, so that's cool. We, um, like that. we wait to do that, but you get six, so there's your one, um, and I put mine on two. There's your second one. There's your third one, fourth, fifth. Again, make sure they're all and facing one more. that one direction. Yep, I know. Just a second. There you go. Uh -huh -huh. And we, we're going to take six turns this turn, not five. Okay. Let me flip over. Oh, look at that. Neither of us had SWAT uh, patches that turn. Because it has to be three or more, I think. Let me see here. I'm pretty sure I said that. Yeah, it must be three elements to size uh, to uh, choose. So I, I guess three elements could be canvas, tile, canvas. It mm -hmm. could be that. So it has to be three elements, not necessarily three tiles. I may have had that. I'm not worried about it. Okay. <clears throat> you go first. Mm. Why did you take the one I wanted? That might be better gone. Hmm. Oh, very interesting, but stupid. <laughs> um, what about that one? Um, that might, that might be, ooh, yeah, I like it. I like this one right here. I'm going to take this out and put this like that because I think that matches right ding 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 sure I think so it touches for yeah. sure sure maybe I don't know
man, man. Let's see. Well, well, well. I don't know about this all. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's see here. Break time is over. Back to it. Have a good time, y'all. Thank you, David. Thanks for being here, buddy. Uh, Jesse, the piece you played replaces with the new one on the left. What did I mess up? This was a long time ago. Oh, crap. Not going to help you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, game ends when you have no more pieces to draw. No, you only take five rounds. Uh, five turns per round, and then, and then it goes for three <laughs> rounds. At the end of the third round, you count points. Whoever has the most points is the winner. Um... Mm. I'm going to take this one. Uh, Kabuki Kid said we had an earthquake here in New Jersey. <laughs> oh, it was dear. Pretty freaky. It was pretty, pretty freaky, not used to those. Uh, the epicenter was pretty close to me, too. Ooh. Last what time was there it? was an earthquake anywhere near this size was like 1884 or something Jeez. like that. What was it? What was the... <laughs> I almost had the words. Nope. What? what? Nope. You lost it? All right, have what you, was the... Is it back to me now? <laughs> scale? Yes. Rating? Scale, scale, scale? Will be, scale will be the right word. Uh, yeah, back to you. I have three. Okay, let's see here. Scale? Range? Mm, um, yep, we're going to do this. Who is it? Dante. I'm in a live. I'll call you soon. I've got my swatch working now. I've got it. Sure. 4.8. Oh, not bad. But a shaker? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what an earthquake is. It kind of shakes know. things. I told you my earthquake story in yes, Mexico. Yes, you did. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Okay, my turn? Yep. You have to flip one over. I have to flip one over. Okay. I think I'm going to um, I'll take this one. Okay, so that one flips out. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think that's going to help me much. That one might, though. That doesn't help me. I'm going to... Um, oh, we can't do it this turn. Snoop Dog. But you can use inspiration to flip your things. Or well, I can, them. yeah, to, to swap them or rotate them, yeah. Um, well, I, don't I think that's going to be that. a skill I keep forgetting to use. Don't want to I'm just predicting. That. Because I could swap them, but I'm, I have to like touch them and swap I'm them. I'm going to. Them, so. <clears throat> if I swap that over, that would give me that there, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use an inspiration point. So you just turn it over so that yeah. it's not bright anymore, and I'm going to take this and flip it this way. Like so. Um. And that's all I'm going to do there. And then I'm going to take this one. And go right here with it. So that's four. We got two more two more picks here on this one because of this card over here. Hmm. Oh, I can't make my mind up. 
I feel like these need little ridges on these to keep the pieces. This is one of those ones mm -hmm. where I can't keep the pieces in order. Mm. Mm, doesn't not work. So I think I'm going to go with... Uh, Hmm, that doesn't match. I put that there. We're not it talking would. very much. Sorry. No, it's fine. I mean, I'm so puzzly. I like it, Nuno says. Uh, the middle piece would have been better, Jesse. Dude, I make all it kinds of <laughs> <laughs> But I'm grateful that you helped me because I need all the help I can get. I'm terrible at things. She's <clears> not <throat> terrible at anything. Oh, goodness. All right, so I'm going to take... So my kids are coming this, back from I'm a take week this in California. Away, and I'm going to put this down here like that. And my youngest is... All right, last one. Because that's five. We get to do six this turn. Yep. So my youngest... More. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't see that one. Oh, no, I can't visualize all the things. I already had a plan. Don't mess with me. Um, my youngest is very needy. No, yes. um, <laughs> clingy, joined at the hip, cut the umbilical cord. He still cord. needs a little bit more help than other kids. Cut the cord. And so he's those. like, I made it through security or I'm at the airport or I don't know what, <gasps> but Ooh. we get no more. That was six. Your six. This is oh, my six. One, two. Three, four, five, six. I need a. I need you. Need to be reading Nuno's so he can help me. <laughs> he need not skip any of those comments because Nuno's gonna help me. He just said, "Nicely played, Sam." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got Nuno's uh, approval. Approval. I'm good. Yeah, I'm not, that but one. I'm okay. It's um, all good. I could probably do that. Um, that doesn't help. Nor does that. Can I? I'm not moving this. Can I flip this so I can see if it would help? No, I can't. I know, yes. but I have to do that. But I can't do that unless I know it works. Okay, try it first. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't because it doesn't touch there. Nope. Okay. Still going back. I'm not touching it. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, dark? No. Dark. Red. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Yep, it does. Nope, not that one. Maybe this will work. Oh. Oh, yes. See? Only oh. here to help you. So this will go right here. And that was the second round. This does go fast. Like there. I okay. think this would be a fun game for... So now we do yours first. So we have one. Yes. Two, three. Uh -huh. Four. Five. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So you have one, two, three, four, five. On mine, I have one, two, three, four, five. Five. Then on your second one? One, two, three, four, four, five. five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I have one, two, three, four, five as well. Two, three, four, five. And then your third one? I have one, two, three. That's it. Just three. Two, three. And then on mine, I have one, two, three, four, five. five. And your fourth one? One, two, three, four, five. And then mine is one, two, three, four, five as well. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Your fifth? One, two, three, three. 
and then one, two, three, four, five. Here. Don't call it a comeback. Over here. Mm, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I have one, two, three, four, five. And then we score your largest patch. Mm -hmm. um, if you have two patches that the are biggest. the same size, you just you have to you can only score one of them. So I think my largest path is um, I think it might have to start on the edge too. Let me double check that. Um, bum 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 bum. Painting inspiration, score your painting, largest patch, score points, you count, count tiles as one element and edge canvas as one element. Largest path must be at least three elements. Okay, so if it starts, okay, so it doesn't have to start. So your largest path patch is going to be, like for example, I have one, two, three, four. Right. So that's a, that's a four patch, but then I also have a one, two, three, four over here as well. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't uh, count. See, I I kind of wish that the edges were a little bit more right, that's well what defined I was because I do have this count. corner that is touching this. I think if you so that would make it five. If you line it, there's a center line. Is there? If you line up the square on the center line. In the... But see, that definitely matches, though. But is it supposed to mean, like, this is that side of the board? No, I think it means it touches, doesn't it? I don't know. You have the rule book. Let's see. Because I hope you stream for most of my two-hour commute home. LOL. <laughs> uh, important. You can place even if the colors don't match on all of its edges. Yeah, see the thing the thing that I'm but does right, this does make, corner to corner count? No, but see this isn't corner to corner. This actually that is connects. more than just the corner. Yeah, that connects. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I well, would say that connects. Look, you can Yeah, I think it does too, but I don't know. But that I, would mean that the, two colors connect on this edge though. I, it would be helpful if there was like a little like I said, dividers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just say that this does connect, yeah, so that sure. would be five points. Sure. So one, two, three, four, five. I have one, two, three, four. And you have a four. All right, so one, two, three, four. We are tied. 51 to 51. Cool. Going into the third round. All right, so um, if we are tied going into the third round to see uh, in a two-player game both... Oh, I'm sorry. Both players may keep an additional paint tile in addition to whatever they were. So you would have been able to keep one last turn. Mm -hmm. That's so, fine. And I would have been able to keep two. Whatever. All right. So let's see here. Um, if players are tied, they share their position equally. So we're since we're tied, we both can keep one tile. Um, no, we both. Can... Yeah, one in addition to what we would normally keep. We're tied for first, which is keep none. So we would be able to keep one. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that one right there up at top. I'm going to keep those. All right. And now foundation, regular, foundation, 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 foundation. All right. So all of these foundations go over here. All of these go to round two. All right, separate your... Foundations. Okay. These are all foundation ones? Uh-huh, and these are round two. Round twos. You kept that one, okay. I kept one. All righty. So, now we can flip over another one. And this one says, all matched navy tile edges score double. So... If they score on the edge with just regular, it's just it's two points instead cool. of only one. But that's just for the navy ones. Right. All right, here we go. Um, comes back to me, it's first player. So my one goes right there. Your one. My two. Your two. 
my three, your three, my four, and your four, my five. Then we have one. I need one more. Two, three. <laughs> Fine. I was like, wait. Fine, be that way. Cheater. Hi, all in chat. Hello, Lewis. I was seriously humming the same thing earlier today. Have you ever played War of the Ring card game, Sam? I just uh, played it last night for the first time. was fun. I have never played the card game War, for the War of the Ring. Um, so that is that. Okay, uh, your turn. So the Navy's score double this turn, this round. You go first. Um, I think these flip over. Are the inspiration points only good? For, uh, I think they were one. Well, I don't um, know. Face down to indicate it's been used in just a couple of scanner. Using inspiration it does not use up your turn. Um, end of round score match painting tile edges. Um, clear your palette. Um. Oh, come on. Why can I not read rule books well? Uh, player, ba ba ba, position. Any tiles you must stay as they are. You cannot move or rotate them while resetting. Um. Discard the tiles. It doesn't say that they flip back over, so I think those are three uses. I would think so, because there's only three rounds. Per they game. wouldn't give you yeah. three per round. Right. Well, they might. Depends. They want to be nice. Um, okay, so that stays flipped over, and I'm going first this round, yeah? So, how do we want this Excuse to go? Me. I want to keep that one the way it is. Navy, however. Navy, Navy, Navy. We want Navy. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, that we is did. the third That's one. We did. That's the Navy one. That's the third one. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with this one. And take this out. Put that there. Uh -huh. um. And we're back to just doing five. Oops. Oh, sorry. <coughs> yep, didn't think it now, but I already Jeez. planned on moving something else there, but... Dang it. Um. All right, there's a three. I, see this? Hmm. I don't know why I like that. I just need to see if that lines up. I don't think it does. Okay, so... I guess I will just do that. Mm. Well, pretty much need to take this one. That's that's a weird mechanism because now it's kind of like telling you telling us to take this figure out how to make this work because it's six points, right? So <coughs> I think I'll put this one right here. Okay, it's my turn, yes? Yeah. I'm gonna flip this over. I think I wanna rotate him because I think I get more points that way. Okay. Um. Love the little painter's palette component. Yeah, I know, the thing. little thing. You can actually, little... you can actually, it's double-sided, so you can use this side or you can use this side. Oh, that's cool. Either one. I thought this wouldn't be a little bit too, I wanted the stark uh, oh. difference for the live stream. Just so, just, Jesse, you have some possible nice plays there. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> you're, you're driving it up a wall, brain. brother. I can't, I can't even like make up play. I'm like, oh, it makes my brain hurt. 
the problem is, is I'll see one and go, okay, just pick that one. Like, just make that one work somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't really have the ability to go, oh, you know what I should do? I don't really make that. Um, I don't know. I think I want one of these green threes, but they're all green threes. Um, Remember the one navies. The the navies that are ones are going to be twos. Yes, so. I get them. So maybe I'll do this one. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know about this all. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here. That was a pretty fancy one right there, I think. You're up, babe. Thanks, honey. That side is confusing. Yeah. Uh, I That's, yeah, that's I why mean, I kept it on this side. Because yeah, the other, the other would, side is just too much. Especially with the green. Yeah, it would be, it's too much. It would be too, too much. Um... I don't know. I think I get a little, what is the word analysis paralysis? Is that your thing? Yep. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just make a decision. I do. I just literally go, okay, I'm moving this one and I'm putting something there. It's going to give me something. So you were talking your guns earlier. I assume they are nine millimeter. Yes, that is correct. Kabuki. They are. No, thank you, Max. Um, I think I'm just going to take this one because I got it figure out something. Hmm. Um. Mm, that one's just wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. better. So I'll take this. Oi, ay, mi amor. ¿Por qué se hace eso? Um, Two more. Okay. Get those points times two. Match the blue, Jesse. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I got a couple. But I did just snag that blue three, which Sam didn't have, but this one has a double-double. Yeah. The what? I got another blue three. Oh, who cares? Me? Uh, I'm going to use one here, and we're going to swap these two. Cool. Like that. And then I'm going to use this to rotate this one like that and then I'm going to take this and put it down here like this nice was that my last one no that's only four okay Whew. Um, you have four? I have four. Okay, so it's my turn. Because I'm going first. You have four? Yep. Oh. You just went, though. Yeah. Oh, you just did all that thing. Yep, and then yep, you went. Yep, yep. Mm. I know, but you <laughs> I know. have four, I have four. I go first. Okay. So that means I did my fourth and you did your fourth, and now sure. it's my turn to go again. Um, just drew though something we did wrong because he literally just drew because I wanted that double double, and then you took it. And I'm like, wait, but. <laughs> 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 
go. You haven't gone? You, how do you have four tiles if you I, haven't I gone yet? I, I have no idea. Just go. No, I don't want to do it wrong. I don't know what is right or wrong. Just go. You have four. You went first. Go. Okay. I don't know. I can't tell you what's right. All right. I know that somehow I screwed something Sam up. Sam hate drafting. <laughs> I'm not hate drafting. I'm not hate drafting. I'm just trying to... Wait, what is this? One of your tiles. See? Told you it was my so turn. So I've already taken five? I told you. I'm like, it was my turn. You just went. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's cool. All right. Go ahead. Take your last <laughs> I was turn. Like, I swear to you. Take your last turn. Thank you, dear. Um. Hmm. Yeah. You're going to win because of all those freaking sixes you got out there. Nut bag. Did you get a good patch, though? No, I don't have any patches. Mm, okay, maybe. I mean, maybe. I think you're going to win, but maybe. All right, here we go. That's it, right? Yes. All right, so this one I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is 58. Your first one? One, two. I don't think that yellow connects. I mean, it does, but that's what we said. I don't know. Like, um, where's the center line? The center line is right there. Does that connect to that? Sure. One, care. two, three, and four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. All right. My second one is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And my second one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That we're tied again. Um, what is it? This one? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's right. This one is six, seven, eight. Eight. And I have three, um, four. Four, five, maybe. I don't know if that. Uh, this is what I really don't know about those corners. I gotta line it up all the way. When I line it up on the center line, that pinks connect. So one, two, three, okay. four, five. five. Okay, that was your corner one. Yeah. All right, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I have six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then middle one is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not very good. One, two, three, and I only have four, five. three, four. One, two, three, four. And then my last one is. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. Oh, that sucks. Only three. Sucky, sucky. And my last yeah. one is six, seven. Okay. So 87 right there. All right, and then um, my largest patch is one, two, three, four. I don't have any patches. One, two, three, four. Um, I think that's it. Cool. After final scoring of round three, the player with the most points is the winner. Nice so, job, baby. Yep, I think that's it. <clears throat> I'm not, I wasn't hate drafting. I, I used it well. I made my largest patch, which gave me the win. Mm -hmm. So that's not hate drafting. Hate drafting is when you take something Knowing that the that other wants person it. wants right. and not using it. You're right, right. just keeping it away from them. Right, I get that. Yeah, so that wasn't a hate draft. It actually won me the game. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. It's one, two, three, four, yep. five. So, and... You didn't use as many of your incineration points. I mm -hmm. used all of mine. I don't. Yeah, these are hard for me to conceptualize. Yeah. 
because well, I think they're highly they're highly uh, circumstantial. Because if you do well placing, yeah. and the the ones you take come out well, you don't even need them. Right. This is really hard for me to conceptualize because I have to, like, I actually have to take the pieces and go, no, no, yes, no. <laughs> like I, I, and then I can't touch them, so I'm like, I, I can't flip them over or rotate or spin them. I can't conceptualize going. I'm gonna switch this and put it here. I go, um, I don't understand. Like I can't. Well, like if you would have if you would have taken this and put it here, right, I and then that rotated thing. this one, that would have given you a swath of one, two, three. That would have right. given you three more points. I, but that's really hard for me to conceptualize. Yeah. But the rest of the game is good, fun. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool, cool. It's a win draft. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, Chad. Chad Elkins is here. I think at least I think that's who is manning the 25th Century Games. Uh, uh, account there, so that's cool. Thank All right, you. so these are the foundation paints, and these are foundation paints. And these are we'll three. Keep that there, and then yeah, make so sure that, that the round that two, round one. The round two oh, comes out, and these are all round three, and as well as these. So, Two, 89, 89 to 87. Nice. That was a close game. 89 to 87. Ugh. Not bad, not bad. It was fun. I like um, how visual it is. I like how easy it was. It's be fun for game night. These are not advanced. Are we playing them correctly? Yeah. Because all they are is little things that you can right, do. Right, right. On your turn. So, it's not like you draft them or pull them up or anything mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't. I mean, I get, I get why these are. I get why right, they, they made make them advanced yeah, play. Yeah. Because the, if you don't even think about these, right, it's super cut and dry. Right, right. But this adds that little bit of oomph yeah, yeah, to yeah. the game, and that's why they call it advanced play. I get it, but they are not so difficult that I think. I think any. And maybe we just got easy. Savvy cards, gamers yes. would would be able I to pick this these was nice. up pretty cool. I thought it was easy to understand. Other ones are something like score two extra points if you match an edge marked with a two to another edge marked with a two. So if you had See, twos, so they get more. If you had twos and twos that were matching, it would be four and four on mm. that edge on both those two tiles. That, that's pretty cool. Um, when priming your canvas, you may place new tiles facing in any direction, so you don't have oh, to. Oh, you don't have to place them in the way you don't you have to. You yeah, don't yeah. have to place them like this. You can that's do cool. this. Um, so that's pretty neat. That's a that's a cool one. Um, gain two extra active inspiration markers. That's where these two extra markers would have came in. All matched lemon tile edges score double. Same mm -hmm, thing as the mm -hmm. navy. Same thing as the uh, navy, but with coral. <laughs> Salmon! It's salmon! Um, when priming your canvas, you may place new tiles in any empty space and have oh, and instead cool. of having to go one, two, three, four, five, six, score one point for each perfect tile scored by another player, which means that That's a perf helpful. A if perfect, you had one, two, three, four, five, yeah, if, or whatever. If it's if it's matching on all yeah. four corners, if you have one of those, then You'd score double. I score uh, an extra point. That's cool. Because it does say every any other player. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, these are cool. I like these. I think this this is what elevates the game. That's it's, fun, and, and it elevates it in a in a simple way. It's I really, not like you're what adding I like complexity. About them is I I love the fact that they look like little notebooks. I love that. They look like what? Little notebooks. Oh yeah, a little notebook. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, I think that's cool too. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, put this away. So, Chad, gamers should just start with the tool cards. Folks that struggle with spatial planning might find <laughs> them overwhelming at first to jump right into. Right. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, so, while Chad, I believe, is here, Chad, uh, be nice to Jesse Sam. I am. He's always so nice to me. I am. I'm super sport. So, um, Chad, while you're here... Can you tell us, or the chat at least, and I'll, I'll make sure that it's in the video as well, 
Um, what's the availability of color field right now? I believe it's available anywhere, but I want you to confirm that for us. Um, while I pack up and get um, get the other ones out. Boom, 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 boom. Oops. Um, and I need your player. Our thing. puppy is snoring in the background. Is that what he is doing? He's snoring? Yes. I think <laughs> he is literally snoring. Here. I think I'm just going to put all the player stuff in this bag. While you set up, can I... Just call back and make sure he's okay. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. He wasn't crying, but yes, go ahead, Mama Bear. Shut up. Look, it's been <laughs> a long time without the kids. Aww. It's a long week. Oh, retail release week. was a few weeks ago, so readily available. Still have some deluxe versions in our web store as well. What is the deluxe, deluxe version? versions? What's what is in the, the deluxe, deluxe version? Share your secrets. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have extra cards. I'm going to have extra stuff here. All right. Uh, foundations in one. All right. Wink. There's some foundations. All right, man, spill the beans. What's in that deluxe version? Inspiration tokens are wood and a mini expansion with more tool cards. Hey, neato Frito, bro. <clears throat> I would I would be interested in, in uh, I'll have to talk to you later. Uh, Chaz, I'll, I'll be interested in getting those extra tool cards. Yeah, the uh, the inspiration, w the wood inspiration tokens. Uh, you know, I'll I would like to purchase those actually. Um, so if I can just purchase the mini expansion and the wood tokens, that would be cool. I want to do that. Well, oh, I wonder. Uh, it really, it's okay. I mean, it, w it wasn't anything big. What happened? He wanted to tell me he was eating a salad. Oh! <laughs> Don't just stop. I'm trying. Hey, Ma! <laughs> he said that he really likes LAX because the security lines were super fast. I was like, what? At LAX? <laughs> like, are you sure you're at the right airport? <laughs> you're not at like Anaheim or something? You're not at Orange County or something? You're at LAX? You're at the right airport? He's like, yeah, the security lines were super fast. I'm like, all right, well, cool. Enjoy Wanda's your salad. Never cease. But they come home today. They have been gone since Monday. The deluxe version, he said, has wooden inspiration tokens instead oh, nice. of cardboard nice and then they also have a mini expansion more of community tool Ooh, cool so that's pretty neat oh it's pretty neato free toe yeah all right let me see are these gonna fit in here kind of they fit oh this is gonna go in here all right oh i know so my 14 that year is old that is <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. Look, this is the first time he's traveled without me. I mean, he's gone up to my parents a couple of times, but this is the first time he's gone, except for, like, the retreats. You know, he's gone on retreats, but this was, like, traveling. Yeah. So, That was Color, color field. field. Super fun. Color Field. 25th Century Games. Copyright 2022. Hmm. That's interesting, but it is gone to retail just a couple weeks ago, he said. Cool. So readily available. Go check that out and pick it up. All right, next we're doing French Quarter. This is a roll and write. It is a strategic, beautifully illustrated strategic roll and write about visiting the heart of New Orleans. Um, yep. 
from the designers of Fleet, the dice game, you've never played that, Three Sisters, and Motor City. We still haven't played Motor City. Mm. We should do that. We do. We need, need like a that. running list of all I the know. things we need to we do. do. It just kind of comes in there. Anyway, uh, one to four players, 45 minutes long, nine dice, two score sheet pads, uh, first player marker, four closure markers, four tourist pawns, uh, 48 action cards, 12 mayor cards. The mayor cards and the closure markers we're not going to use because that's a variant. And then one rule book. Cool. Designed by, listen to this. Yeah, you were just saying this is interesting. Designed by the same people that designed, except for one of them, two of the three people that designed Wasteland Express Delivery Service designed a roll and write about the French Quarter. Jonathan Gilmore did not have a piece in this, but uh, Matt Pinchback, I mean, sorry, Matt Pinchback and Ben Riddle. <laughs> Matt Riddle and Ben Pinchback and Adam Hill are the designers. Uh, so i got to get the rule book. All right, so these are the two pads that we're going to use. Each of us gets one of these, so we'll start with that. Um, this is where you can, oh, man, these are thick. That's thick paper. I thought I had two pieces there. And they are double-sided. They're double-sided, so you can use them. That's More cool. More than once. And then I get one of these. Then you get one of these. There Thank you, you dear. And so then we'll put these off to the side. I gave you a pen, too. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, are you sure you don't want to use the turquoise one? I do love the turquoise ones, but these are from Mina, oh, and they okay. write better. Mina's is better. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I'm picky about pens. See what she does there? She she gave me the. I gave him the free console. Gave me the nasty pen. one. But it is turquoise, which is my favorite color. So that was a hard choice. Do I choose turquoise, or do I choose a pen from my financial consultant that writes really well? <laughs> Accents B minus. I know. How I dare know. you like, give me an accent grade, sir? I, I don't know. He started in, like, French and slipped to Scottish. Yep. I know. I do that all the time. <laughs> Just trying to keep them on their toes. Yes, honey. You do that for sure. Let's see. All right. We get a purple, a green, a turquoise, a red, and a pink. Okay. So those are the dice we start with. We don't use the other ones in a two-player game. And, oh, oh, oh. These are, whoa, that's a lot of mayor cards because I had some on top and some on the bottom. All right, so we're not using the mayor variant. Okay. We're going to keep those in the box. And then it says not to use the taxis okay. as well in a two-player game. So we're not going to use that. So we have walk cards. We have riverboat cards. And we also have a socialize cards and carriage cards and street cards. So those are the different kinds of things that we're going to be using okay, here. Okay, stop. I have a question. Go ahead. Since I have never visited New Orleans, are there actually river boats? Are there waterways throughout the town? Not throughout, but on the harbor. You're on the Mississippi. I think it's the Mississippi, isn't it? Yeah, that's the, yeah. Or the bay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I could, bay, I could the, envision um, carriages and the socialized and the walking and the streetcars, but I didn't know there were river boats. That's something I didn't, okay. didn't so enter my world. We <laughs> you have, like that? I think these are player markers. Yeah. Oh, meeples. These are the meeples. Meeple, meeple. Oh, cool. I think these are the blockers. I think this is the first player marker, and I think these are. Isn't this called a fleur de lis? Fleur de lis, yes. Oh, I knew that. This one's cool. This one's super cool <laughs> for my band kids. Um. Okay. Each player places their pawn. These must be our pawns. It's got to be, these have got to be our pawns, yeah? But that's not what it looks like. It looks like a regular meeple. So interesting. But, Is, yeah. There's somebody looks, there? Ask. Looks What's like, um, cancel that. What did you just cancel? Uh, my computer wants to update. Oh. Sam's sounding like groundskeeper Willie over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what 
what that means? <laughs> that was funny. Oh, um, from The Simpsons? <laughs> yes. Yeah, maybe. Yes. Yes. Uh, it mm. looks like... Um, hmm. Because these are not the same color as the ones that are in the rule book. So I'm wondering if... And it does say that it is... Let's see, one to four players, so there's too many of those. Um, so uh, it looks like this copy is missing the tourist ponds. So it's probably not a an a ep epidemic, but there are no ponds in this. So we're just going to we're going to use one of these. Maybe they, these are like deluxe thingies? Maybe you mm. just get to choose. Yeah, maybe you just get to choose. That's right. All right, so everything is out of the box, though. Truly not a wise way to plan a city. New Orleans is insanely built, basically built inside of retaining walls, keeping the Mississippi and Gulf out. That is correct. I, I remember reading at some point it was actually like lower sea level than the area around it. Like, isn't it? Yes. That's, that's why the hurricane was so devastating. The, yeah, because yeah, the retaining walls broke. Right, and the water. And the water settled in inside of it. It's, so, yeah, it's, it was pretty bad. Is it? Whew. Okay. Um, uh, I think uh, let's just use these two because sure. one is a dude and one is a lady. So you can be the lady and yes, I'll be the dude. You. And I don't know what all these other ones are going to be used for, but we'll we'll see what we need to do. My here. lady's pretty cool. Her hat. But she also kind of looks like Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> the Did you not ears. See that? Wow. I totally. Uh, you can't get your camera on that. The you don't ears. Have it out here. Um. Okay. Yeah. Maybe two of the meeples are extras in there. Okay. Are you missing the limos? No, the limos are. We found the limos here, the but I blackness. thought the limos were. Um, uh, the limos are we here. Don't have the Look at these big old. I know, long those are limos. cool. Bing, bing. Let me go upside down. You got them upside down. Uh, I think I actually thought they right. were boats. I think <laughs> it'll be all right. See, look at these. Do you want to go camera? Can you go camera angle? No? Yeah, let me see. I can't flip this over. I might, I might over. try to do it. I Let's can't flip see. this over. Let's see. Let's see. Will it work? It worked. There we go. There's some of my meeples. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, so there's the lady, and uh, Jesse <laughs> says it looks like Yoda on top. Uh, it's pretty close. Star Wars fans. Pretty here. close, pretty close. But anyway, you see, these are the uh, limos um, that are down here. And so that's pretty cool. The limos. But I've got them going the wrong way on some of them. There we go. Now we have them all going the right direction. So component component quality is pretty cool. I like mm -hmm. the wooden pieces. I really like the dice. The dice are really nice. I like those a lot. Um, I think I probably need to shuffle those decks as well. So let me go ahead and turn these back off. And we'll go back over here. Okay, so I have Boom, a person. Just like that. And we'll go down to there and let me scooch in a little bit tighter okay on the board i have another question yep. if they I people from 20th if the people from 25th century are here are these are the names of the places on the map actual places in yes. new orleans are they really yes they're not like just fictional made up names of a city no i don't think oh, so oh that's cool i don't think so Wow, that's neat. There we go. Decatur Street. That's pretty good. All right. It's almost like Daphne Street. <laughs> it's, it's Dolphin Street. Dolphin? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. That's awesome. All right. So um, we all, we both start at the Amma House Hotel. See, it has that little meeple there? Yes. Okay. So we start on the Amma, Amma House Hotel. Um, 
So what we're going to do, I need to shuffle both all of these real quick because I don't know exactly what it is, but I just pulled them out of the thing. So I need to shuffle them. And food culture shopping. Do each of these. Mysticism. Ooh, wow. Yep. That's so cool. Right. Okay, I'm kind of excited about this. I have issues, I know, but I think this is really cool. Okay, I'll be the... You don't like being the first player. No, thank you. I'll be the first player. All right, socialize and... Mm. Okay. And carriage. All right, so planning phase. We reveal the top card of each deck. So, all right, uh, roll the dice pool, and then they are ascribed to each card, like so. Oh, what does Florida de Lis mean? I don't know what that means. I didn't see that. And there, looks just like that. All right, what happened? Is that a, is that a one? Yeah, that's got to be a one. But that's pretty cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Um, I have read through the Let rules. Me be getting hungry reading these. <laughs> 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 all right. So that was the planning phase: flipping the cards over and rolling the dice and putting the dice out there the way they are supposed to be put out. All right. So. Uh, the first thing that we need to do now is we're going to go to the travel phase. In the travel phase, uh, starting with the um, the current player goes first. So I'm the current first player, so I'll go first. And um, we have to choose an available die from the card row and place it in front of yourself. Based on the cards and die, take the four actions in order. So <clears throat> you would take... Um, the card action, which is these right here, mm -hmm. and you always go left to right. Then you would be able to, if, if there's a move action, you would be able to move. Um, and uh, the movement distance is, da is, is mm -hmm. stated on the card. So from wherever you are, you can move one to three spaces. So if I wanted to, I could go uh, one, two, three, all the way over to LJ's public house. Or I could go one, two, three, all the way down to Kelly's tea readings or anywhere in between that. Right. And, but you don't have to go all the way out in one direction. You could, you could go one, two, three, like this. Okay. You can go, but it's always orthogonal movement. You can't go diagonal. Right. All right? Right. Um, so that's what these would do. Some of them, like the riverboats here, says move to any space on Decatur Street or North Front Street. Uh -huh. So North Front Street is right here, mm -hmm. and then Decatur Street is all the way around here. So. With a riverboat, you can move from here mm -hmm. all the way down to one of these spaces here. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do these different actions do? So, for example, you, you simply resolve the icon. So if I chose to take the carriage, I'd be able to uh, uh, take my pencil and mark one of the X's on the umbrella thing. Mm -hmm. And then I would get one of my choice. This is a wild symbol here. Mm. All right, so I could go symbol here, and then I could go up to one of these or, or do one of these down here. It can be whatever I want it to be. Okay, um, anyone, it's wild. Uh, mark the empty box of an activity track of your choice. All right, so. These are the activity tracks. Um, what's that? These are the activity tracks. Uh, yes, these are activity tracks. These are performers down here. Got so it. you'd have to. Uh, uh, I don't think you can use no, a wild different. for that. Right. Um, so here you would uh, mark on the uh, Bourbon Street uh, marker down here, the partying, uh, and then you'd get a wild of your choice. Partying, mysticism, wild of your choice, uh, umbrella, wild of your choice. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's what you're doing there. Um, then after we do movement, we can do a building action. So wherever you end at, if you, um, for example, if I ended here at the uh, Rue the Day Tavern, uh, I would also be able to mark another umbrella and 
mark a uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, shopping mm -hmm. as well. Uh, after the building action, you can do a map action. So, for example, if I chose to do this one, I have a four, and if I, let's say I went one, two, three, four, like this. But you can only move three. Oh, okay, yes, that's Sorry. Right. So I could only, I, I go uh, one, two, three. I go to Bloody Mary. Sure. Um, if I, since I had a four, I could put a four in that. Once you start putting, mapping more locations though, you have to be careful because the ones that are adjacent to it can only be plus or minus one away from whatever number you wrote there. So if I wrote a four here, it means that this space it has to be a three or and a five. this space and this space and this space have to be a three or a five. It cannot be a four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that's what mapping your thing out. And if you go uh, down to, where is it? Um, oh, yeah. When you start um, choosing your second line, which is fired off uh, whenever somebody does the socialize action, um, you'll be marking things off for when we start drawing lines, uh, wherever that second line is going. Mapped buildings that are on that route are going to get you to mark off more of these things here. Okay. All right. And for every row that you've marked off, you get another umbrella. Mm -hmm. And for every three umbrellas, you get one of your choice. Sure. So you can see how it can kind of chain, or chain around. Okay. When you pass a fleur de lis on one of these routes here, you're going to mark off one of these multipliers. And for every building here, it multiplies by this, yeah, yeah. and that's how many points you get over here on your scoring, um, and so forth. And we only play out eight rounds. Does that make sense? Sure. Sadly, Chad had to run. Wish I could stay. Good to see you all, and thank you for streaming today. A big thank you to folks hanging out, too. Yes, thank, thank you, you Chad. Much. Have a good one. The businesses are close spoofs. Oh, okay. Okay. They're close <laughs> spoofs. So they probably couldn't for trade. Right, right. Uh, for, they can't call it. Yeah. The Benet shop. It's the Benet cafe. Yabla was a female of Yoda's race, right? <laughs> yes. Factory put the mini expansion to drink meeples in the core game by accident. MCG didn't discover until after assembly. Oh, dear. So they just left them in there instead of opening up each game to remove. Bonus. All right. Cool. Um, there you go. So are we trying to put numbers in all the spaces and map that I don't know when the mapping part comes. You haven't said well, that. well that that's the fourth thing. That's the last thing that you do okay. in the um, in the travel phase. So the travel phase is going to go in order. Card actions, movement, building actions of wherever you stopped, and then if you want to map that and the number that you of the die that you're using for that action works with that, then you put that down. And then uh, later on, if somebody chose this socialize action, we'll do a second line phase where um, uh, we'll get to that. Okay. Because I want to I want to get started. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Um, and I don't want to over overburden anybody because the second line phase is a little wonky. Okay. A little wonky. All right. So let's put this back over there. And um, I will choose Streetcar does anything on Dauphin Street. So Dauphin Street is this whole street right here. Mm -hmm. So any of these, um, any of these on the first two rows mm -hmm. would work. I, I need to know what the objective, are we trying to get the whole thing filled? You're trying to fill in as much of these as possible these. so that you can get your multipliers up and score the most points for each of these okay. activities because you're gonna we're gonna total up all of our activity scores here and okay. that's gonna give us the total. So the further along these things that you go, for example, um, this symbol right here mm, is uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. They unlock in-game bonuses. All right, okay. Which would... I would imagine it's... These are your in-game bonuses. So if you, if you circle, if you do this, 
you're going to circle in that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, but if you do use the in-game bonus here, here you get to choose. Are you going to do this in-game bonus, or are you going to do one of the uh, multipliers? Mm -hmm. Then the next one over, it's just a multiplier. Then the next one over is an in-game, and now you have to choose. Do I do my third? You understand? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I don't... Uh, uh, so as you're going along this, and, and again, these marking these off is um, yeah centered around those things. Yes, yep. that's correct. Make sense? Yes. All right. So my first thing is I am going to choose carriage. So um, I'm going to mark off an umbrella, bing, and I get one of my choice on one of these activity mm -hmm. uh, activity spots. So I'm going to be moving on a carriage. Uh, let's see. Maybe I want to do... Um, maybe I'm going to do uh, a food. So I'm going to mark off... That was, my, that was my star. So now I can move one to three. So I'm going to go... Uh, let's see. I'm going to go... Hmm. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go uh, one to three. So I think I'll go one, two up here. And then I get to do the building action. And so that is right here. Now, am I going, uh, I'm going to circle that in like this and do this. And it says map any building, any number to a building on Decatur Street. So uh, I'm going to put three here at Cajun Jewelers because I can do any number to a building on Decatur Street. That's not Decatur Street. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Dauphin Street. Crap. That's why we use pencils, right? Yeah, but I brought pens. Um, that's okay. I'll just scribble, scribble that it out. out. Sorry. Yep, that sucks. Um, actually, instead then... I start here. One, two, three. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go down here to Kelly's T reading, and that's going to give me a mysticism for the building down there. So I haven't done any of these here. Not yet. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. So I haven't done either of those. I'm going to say that... Um, I came down here for my square for mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. my uh, mm -hmm. for my wild. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was that. Now I come down here with one, two, three, mm -hmm. which I can use with the movement here, and that gives me another mysticism, which is this. So I have one multiplier right, on right. mysticism already. Okay. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to map. So the map is going to be a four. And I can do that because all of my yeah, adjacents yeah. is open. So that's all I'm doing on my turn. Now it's your turn. Okay. So I'm going to... Do, we'll do two of these. So I've turns. done one turn, Wait. you do one turn, I do one turn, you do one turn, and then that's the end of that round. Okay, I'm going to take the streetcar, please. All right, so you're doing so the streetcar. And that gets you an umbrella and one of your choice. Oh, it, Mina's right so Mina's much better. My pen is not working. Well, you've got a bookmark in there. You could... I want to write on my bookmark. But you already did. <laughs> my Mina pen is not working. I'll get you one. Can I'll you go another get another? One. Yep, I got it. Fine, then I'm switching for turquoise. No! <laughs> I can't have a Mina pen. <laughs> Go ahead. Use your turquoise. It's not actually turquoise. Anymore. No, it writes in black. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so thank you. Mm -hmm. So I filled in an umbrella, and then I get another one. Um, of your choice on one of the activities. So oh, you might right. want to look to see where you go. You can move anywhere on Dauphin Street, which is any of the ones right, that are right. up here. And maybe that'll... Like if you come over to French Quarter Botanica, you'd get another umbrella and you'd get a performer right here. 
Right. So I don't know. It's what it's whatever that you want to do. Sure. I will do that. Move to any location on Decatur Street. Okay. On Dauphin Street. So I'll do that and I get an umbrella and um, a performer. Does it matter which one? Like, there's three different performers. Do they just go in order, or is it just... I don't have to mark a trumpet for a saxophone spot or something, let me right? Look, let me look at performers real quick. Because these symbols are different. Yeah. Performer icons can be gained from building actions and bonuses unlocked on the activity tracks. When you gain a performer icon, mark the topmost empty box for that performer. So, it's columns. So, saxophones... Trumpets, trombones, okay, what is that? violins. What is that image then? So, where? Top. You don't know what that image is? I can't see it. It's a trumpet. Oh. So, oh. you mark it, you mark the, the top one of the trumpet. Yep. <clears throat> okay, um, so I did that. So, I, I followed the card, I moved. Um, and then I can map you can, it. You can map it, so you can put a two yeah. in uh, that one right there. And then that's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, a couple of different things on your map. So, uh, you see these right here? Yes. Where it's a gift shop? Yes. So, if you get that one and another gift shop uh, mapped, that will score you. A number of points equal to the sum of those two maps, mm. map numbers at the end of the game. Cool. Um, these right here, the courtyards, uh, I was just reading about those. Let me go back to them. Is this the one with the numbers? Yeah. The 2, 6, 12, and 20, I think. Uh, let's see, where is it? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, gosh. Here they are, yeah. Uh, if you have visited one, two, three, or four of these buildings, score two, six, twelve, or twenty points. I see. All right. Uh, the Riverwalk Shopping and Aquarium uh, down here. Yes. If you have visited this building twice, score eight points. So the first time you'll mark, you mark it, it mark the, the, the X, the and then the time. second time you'll mark the circle. Okay. All right. Do I need to? I don't need to mark that I visited there. That's clearly there. You clearly have visited right, there. Right, because it's mapped. But you don't need to mark it unless you've mapped it. There's okay. no reason for you to mark it. it, except for the Riverwalk Shopping and Aquarium. Now, one more thing that we didn't really talk about is that whenever you're moving, you can never move in such a way that it comes back to the building that you started in. Yeah. You have to move to a different building. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I take my second turn... So I'm going to take socialize just because I want to walk us through the um, the the second line phase. I don't think I did a wild on that move. I did the umbrella. You did the umbrella. Um, you were going to anything. end up. You were going to end up. Well, you know, you did. I. Because um, then I just moved. And no, I did yeah, that. you you need to take a wild somewhere over here. Okay, so. So you just choose. All right, so you did the partying. Got it. Understood. Uh, and I did then, socializing. And then you, Very did, different and then than you did this and, and that. And I did this okay. and So you're that. good. Yes. All right. Um, did you map the... Yes, you did. I did. All right. So now I'm doing socialize, which gets me a party icon. Bing, bing. And then I also get a wild of my choice. So I think what I'll do then is... Um, how fast am I? I'm going to be able to move one space. So, use west instead of a number once. Use W instead of a number once. That's interesting. One. Hmm. All right. I think I'm just going to do... Uh, a multiplier down here on Bourbon Street, which will give me a multiplier up here. Okay, so that is... I did party, and my wild was that to give me a multiplier up here. So now I can move one space. I'm going to do Riverwalk, and that's going to mark 
my one. And I'm going to go ahead and map. Oh, I can't. Mm. Why? Oh, because the number isn't yeah, the right. Yeah, because the number here isn't right. Well, poop. All right. I'm not going to do it. Go ahead. Uh, you choose one of these. Okay. One hour to go. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, it's, it's Lewis and his two-hour commute. One hour to oh, go. Oh, one hour to go. Well, we'll just keep talking. <laughs> um. Hmm. I think I will just do this one, the riverboat. Move to any space on Decatur Street or North Front Street. So I'm just going to go down here, but first got to mark this off. Oh, crap. I forgot. We forgot to do the setup. What Stupid. did we do? What? Well, we, we should have taken... Uh, roll a die to determine the starting point of the second line. So we need to roll a die. Uh, let's just use this one because yeah, nobody yeah. used it. So, whoop. Uh, it's a one. Okay, so from the one on here, bing. What? So this was the starting location for the second line. Oh. So go ahead and circle, circle that. that. Yep. All right, cool beans. Okay. Now we're, we're back on track. Go okay, ahead. Okay, now I gotta do this, and then I gotta do this as my two, and move to any space, which I can move down here, which gets me an umbrella and a wild. Oh, well, yeah. That one gives you, well, you got three, so it gives you a wild right now that you can use. Right. Okay. And then, the, what's that symbol? Uh, where did you go? Oh, um, that is, uh, believe that's a performer. It's a magician. So you would cross off the oh, got it. thing down here. Yep. Okay. And then I can map that one. Okay. Okay. All right. That was my second move of this one. That was your second move. Okay. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to. We only get two moves. Yes, okay. every round. Um, so now the second line advances. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say south. And so you simply have to draw a line mm -hmm. down to one intersection. So from mm -hmm. number one down to the next intersection. So that's it. That's the second line. Um, one block in length from the second line's current intersection to the next intersection in that direction. Um, once the second line has advanced, it is then scored by all players. Each player counts how many mapped buildings are touching the second line on their map, then marks any empty boxes on the second line trap. None uh, of us have anything there. So done. none of us have anything there. Uh, I would have much rather it started down here on six, right, right. but, you know, uh, because I had one mapped building down there. But... That's it. So now these cards go away. New ones get flipped Got it. over. And you get the first player and you roll the dice. Okay. Go first. Okay. Um, okay. So I don't quite know what. Um. Yes, I hasn't uh, done yet. So I'm going to draw a circle there. I haven't done that yet either. Okay. I'm going to just take carriage. Okay. Move one to three spaces. I'm just going to go over one. 
And that gets me a saxophone. Oh, wait. This gets me an umbrella. Mm -hmm. It gets me a ghost. Mysticism. So that gives you a multiplier out here. A multiplier. And that gets me one down here that I didn't go in. Mm -hmm. Okay, did that, did that, got this, and then I can map this as a three. Where did you go? The front? The French Quarter the to Benet, the Benet Cafe. Benet Cafe. Okay. And then you mapped that as a three. And I mapped it as a okay. three. Um, so, let's see. I think I'm going to... Uh, Decatur Street. And we go and until the cards are done? Is that right? Huh? We're going until the cards are done? Or are we... Uh, no, we, we do eight rounds, so we're in oh, round see. two right now. Oh. Uh, move one to three. Oh, you already took that one. Uh, that one, no. Anyone on North Front or Decatur? So, I think I'm going to go to, I'm going to use the riverboat. And that's going to allow me to take a party, which is this right here. And then a food, which is this one right here. So that works now. And to move to anything on, I'm going to move up here to Crescent City Cigar Factory. And that allows me to take a shopping and... I'm going to map with that. Your turn. Okay. Um. So if nobody takes a socialize, we don't do the second, second line. line. Right. So I'm not saying that you need to do that, but it's up to you. I got it. Um. Matthew Vincent is here. Hola. Hola. Nuno says, so far my vote goes to Colorfield. He really likes that one. That one was fun. It was I fun. I actually really like that one, too. This one, this one has a little bit more going on. This so it, it's not as cut and dry. But it's, like, but it's, it's a rule, right? It's yeah, not It's, it's not terrible. as cut and dry, so. But um, I just have to, like. Yeah, you got to work through stuff. So I think I'm going to. Use, while she's thinking, I'm going to use my camera. Okay. And just show everybody how things are going. Move. That gives me this. End of this. Um, does a one, if you place a one in a map, does it go six and a two? Or does it just go two? No. The number that you're trying to map it with, it, no, it... It can't loop. Uh, that's a good question, actually. I'll, like, I'll double-check it. Like, does a six go to a five or just a six? I don't know. I'll double-check it. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay. Because I think I'm going to do the streetcar. So I'm going to start filling that in while you check. One of these... Okay, so on a six, one of these. a five and a six can go next to it. A one cannot. Okay, but it on could a be one, a... a one and a two can go next to it, but not a six. Okay. So I'm going to take um, the streetcar. Okay. And I'm going to take the... So you move to any place on Dolphin Street, which is way up, up here. here. I know. I'm going back and forth. So you can take your umbrella. Do that first. I did. I did okay. my umbrella, and I did the, and your the party? social as I used to. Okay, now you move to any place on Dauphin Street. Sure. And then you can do that I building's action that. if it is, but it's not. Well, that one doesn't have an action. I should probably do one with an action then, shouldn't I? Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, probably. You need points. I mean, that one has an action. Yeah. That's a food. Okay. All right. And I'm going to map it, I guess. One, two, one. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, um, but I didn't choose socialize, but you can. I'm going to choose socialize, I think. That allows me to move one space. So, uh, but first of all, I get to do partying, which is this. And that says to cross out my next circle. Mm, I don't know what that means. It would mean up here. Is that the partying track? Yeah. Uh -huh. Bonus A, cross out the next empty circle on the culture track, which is... Um, which is this like one up here. So cross off the next circle on... Oh, actually, that symbol is there. So cross out next bling circle. So I would cross out this. Move plus one to two spaces. Okay. All right, I bet you you just mark it off, and then if you use that, you fill it in. I bet you that's what Like it it's a freebie. Hey, you get this. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Cool. Okay, um, so uh, cross out next circle. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use that and cross that out, which allows me to use that whenever I want to, but i got to get this first. Uh, I don't think I have to get that first. Okay. Anyway, that's that because mm -hmm. of that. Then right. I also get a thing here, which allows me to use a W instead of the number once whenever I'm mapping a building. So if I don't have a number that I can map, then um, I can use a W instead. So I'm going to move one space, which is right back down here. Um, I didn't move back here on the same round on the same turn, rather. Now, I want to map this, but this is the second time I visited that building, so now I'm going to score eight points at the end of the game there. Uh, I have a five. I can't map it. It works with this one, but it doesn't work with that one, so I'm going to use the W up here. Um, and just put that. Cool. Um, and I think that's it. No, you chose socialize. You have to draw a right. second line. So now we're going to do a line. And uh, I'm going to just go south again. So just keep going down. And nothing scores anything. Do you score anything on yours? Nope. All right. So Does the socialize, is it only the person who chooses the card? Because you said our lines were going to be different. No. Oh. You, uh, you, the thing is, is that if you choose socialize then you choose which way that line goes. So if I'm right, going right. away from where right, all your right. buildings are, because right. I'm trying to get down here where all my maps, map yeah, buildings right. are, um, you want to get back up there. Mm -hmm. So you can never go... Right, you can't repeat. Re yeah, go yeah, back, yeah, but you can choose another direction. Yep, yep. So it can always cross over itself, but it right. can't double back on itself. Got it. All right, so... These cards go away. And when do the limo do the limos come in, or is it a card? I'm pretty sure that's just used in the mayor expansion. Oh, okay. These are the roadblocks for the mayor expansion. I don't think we're using it, but he, I, I think Chad like, just wanted to. It would be like they can't, you can't go in that area. Yeah. You can't. You got it. Okay, so that's those. And we have two, four, three, two. I get to go first, so let's see here. I want to try to go. Hmm. Okay. Um. One, two, three. Any value on Don Decatur? Okay. I think I'm going to choose the. I'm going to choose the riverboat, which gets me another mark here on the partying, and it also gets me another one here on the culture. Um, and then I can move to any place on Decatur Street, 
So I'm going to move to Jackson Square. And that gets me a uh, street performer and a statue thingy. I don't know what that is. Um, so that's the building action. And then do I want a map? And I will say, yes, I do. I'll put a three right there. Your turn. Okay. Mm. Just got an aftershock, Kabuki Kid says. Oof. Dang. Aftershocks give me headaches. Man, an aftershock. Like, really? Good night. Oof. That's bad. Wow. Oof. Um... I don't know. I think I'm going to take a carriage. Okay. Take the die, not the card. Oh, I know, but I, it's easier for me to see the card. <laughs> it's right I, in front I of know, you. I know, but I like it better with the number. Okay, I'll take streetcar. Streetcar? Yeah, I All changed right. my mind. So here you go. So you get an umbrella. Yes. And that gets me a wild. Anywhere you want. Um... Okay. And so you get to choose if you want one of these up here or if you want another multiplier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you also get um, a shopping, mm -hmm. which only lets you take that up there if you want to, which is the one that I used because I couldn't map mm -hmm. the building down there. So you can you have that ability to use anytime. Okay. Then you can move to any space on Dauphin Street. Okay. Um, and this one is how many of these? Those gift have? shops. So if you if go, you to the go other here and map and here, here, and then you go to another gift shop right. and map there as well, those two mapping numbers, whatever you used, mm -hmm. will be points for you at the end of the game added together. Mm -hmm. Never had aftershocks, but more than a few tornadoes. Glad oh, you are safe. Aftershocks make you head headachey. Something about the vibrations of the earth make me really headachey on aftershocks. Mm. Um, I will just go to any place on Dauphin Street. So, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna go here, I guess. Remember, this one is if you Does visit one, ones? two, yeah. three, or four of these courtyard right. places, Make it'll it score you points. that many points. So maybe that's a good place to start going. Sure. To. And then that doesn't do anything. It doesn't mark anything. Yeah. Well, we did two, though. Yeah. This is complicated. All right. So you went here. So I go like ahead it. and go ahead and mark that. Um, so because you because that is going to get you two points right now. Okay, so that one's done. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. This is our third round. The beginning of our third round. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. One to two spaces. If I go there. One to three, if I go there. Yeah, I need to do that, I think. I'm going to use the carriage, and I'm going to do... Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Um, I'm going to do the carriage. So that's going to get me an umbrella. And it also gets me a partying thingy. Um, <coughs> and then I get to move one to three spaces. I've got a two to map. So, um, I think I'm going to go up here to St. Louis Cathedral. And that gets me a violin. And then I'm going to map for two. Okay. Your turn. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. 
pretty freaky. Not used to earthquakes here in the Northeast, LOL. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Neither, I mean, Jess has been through some, but I've never been I lived through. in Alaska. You've never been through any. And we've had some here in Washington, so I have done both. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then a verb. Map to any number, map any number to a building on Decatur Street. Yep. Map any, but I have to be down there. I don't map any number to a building on Decatur Street. And then, um, mm, I'm a little confused. Mm. Okay, I so I did the food. Here, your multipliers are not multiplying the number of things you do here. It's the number of mapped things on Decatur Street. So okay. right now, um, like I have zero things marked oh, on. Oh no, I'm sorry. Up. I have one, two, three marked on Decatur. And I have none. I but I don't have those. any multipliers yet. So there's no point in getting multipliers then on that street because I'm all up at the top. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay, um, I didn't do this. I can cross out the next circle here. Right. Oh, you just crossed it out. Yeah. So I can still use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and same thing with this one. I haven't done that one, and I haven't done this one. Okay. You're done? Um, I but you so. took this. So oh, I have to do that. you're going to choose which way the uh, second line advances. Okay. So it's always north, yeah, it's south, south east, or east, or west. It's going to go west. West, so that direction. Yep. Okay. You're a jerk. Yep. <coughs> um, okay. And then that fills in, and I think that's all. I don't know. Okay. Okay. All righty then. Come okay, back. so this is a multiplier on this. No, this. Ay, ay, ay. Roll the dice. And we are now in round three. Or maybe we've done three I think rounds. this was our fourth. One... Because look how many blocks we've driven. One, three. two, three. Yes. So this is our fourth. Yeah, we're starting our fourth. So we're halfway done. Well, after this round, we'll be halfway done. Okay. Four, six, three, six, two, and Nothing up on Dolphin Street, so I shouldn't have been building up there. Dolphin no, there is. Stupid. None of them are multipliers. Oh, okay. So I was like, well, that was stupid. But still, they're giving you uh, points for other things. They're giving you yeah. a lot of other stuff. Yeah. So it's not necessarily dumb to go up there. But it is your turn to choose first. Okay. Um... Bow, 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 bow. I'm going to do something. Oh, yeah, do that. Um, I don't know. Um, well. Um, I don't know. Um, I think I will just take the carriage because I can't think of it all. Okay. So you take the carriage, do an umbrella. And a culture, which is... It has to be this one. Yes. Because I didn't do this one. Correct. 
And then uh, you can move one to three spaces. Okay. are vertical. This is horizontal? No, vertical. St. Peter Strait is vertical, but Decatur Strait is horizontal. And Bourbon Strait is horizontal. Okay. So I will go. Oh, it can be. Okay. That makes sense. So the, it can be the number. Whenever you're mapping, it can. <laughs> yes, I'm it listening. Can, it can be the number or plus one minus one. Yeah, yeah. So it can, so you can next, put a two, two, next two. to a four can be a four. Yes, I got that. A two or a three. Got that. Okay. Okay, I, I, mm, 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 mm. I move one to three spaces, but I have to be on certain streets to get points, and I don't know how to do that. Because I don't know where the streets are. Okay, I'm on that street. Um, so I guess I will go one, two, and go to the Oyster Bar, which gets me an umbrella. And that was my move. And then I can... I can work through that, and I can map this. Okay. You done? Yeah. Yes, that was my move. I get it. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do the riverboat. So that allows me to move to any. Okay, well, first I got to do party. So party is here. Walk is reduced to one space. Um, I don't. I don't understand why that's important, but okay. I, I think it's like a. But I, I think it's like almost against the other. I mean, it's like a negative for the other person. Yeah, that's what I think. Because cannot game performer icons go to police station and roll for unusable number. Walk is reduced to one space. Mm, okay. I don't know, but that's uh, what it would imply. It allows me to, so I do partying and I also do mysticism. So there's this as well. And St. Anne Street, where is St. Anne Street? It's a vertical. Yeah, I know. On the right, far Saint right. St. Anne Street, way over there. So I do have two on, so that's, I think I'll take another, I'll take another, uh, multiplier there. You said you needed buildings. Mapped buildings. So Oh, it does count both sides of the street. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. So um Okay. I'm gonna do that and then I can move to any place on North Front Street or Decatur. So I'm gonna move over here to the home of Blues Nola. And that gives me another uh up here, which is a uh, multiplier and it also gives me another one of these, which is I get a star. I can put that anywhere I want. I think that star is going to go to um, here, which is going to do map any building, map any number to a building on Decatur Street. So I think I'm going to map any number. I'll put a four here, and then I'm going to map this one here. Mm 
Okay. Okay. I guess I will. This is interesting. It's got a lot of. There's a lot of. It's deceptively strategic. Yeah. Um, and I know I'm it not, says it on the back of the box. <laughs> right. But it's I'm not like really strategic. You, you so really got to. Like, you really got to kind of. Like, right. Where can I go here to maximize mm -hmm. these to get this to times this to? Yep. I don't really get it all. Um, as long as nobody. But it, oh, let's see. Um, okay. So yeah, catch up on your chat. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Rattling, I think. Literally and emotionally. Sorry, Kabuki. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but also a hair exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Adrenaline's pumping. Mm, okay, so. I'm putting nothing anywhere. I, I, I don't really know. Um, I think I will take the socialize. Okay. For six. I have to look at the card. I'm like, I really need to look at the card. Because I got to like... Partying. So you map the square. Social. And then a square. I mean a star. So anything you want up here. So I want this. I don't want that because that's so much text. I'm like, nope. Mm, I don't know what to do with that. Um, I'm going to go here and use it as a multiplier. Okay. That was my wild. Move one space. Yep. I'm going to um, go here. Okay. Which gets me one of these. Another party. And that's it. And then you can map the six here. Well, no, you can't because it's... Well, I still have to use a W. Okay, then you can do that then. So I will just map this. Um, dang it. Oops, that was the wrong square. Gosh. Don't love that. Um... And then one to two spaces. So I will, I will just do a walk and that allows me to go two spaces and I have gone here. Uh, that allows me to mark off this, however. I'm just going to do fill all these in. Oh, and I did socialize, so I get to decide which way it goes. It's going east. For well, the second not time. yet. i got to finish um. my round. We should do these at the same time. That would be faster. What? Do I move? Well, you have to. You no, you can't do that because you have to choose. Right. Well, you just and then choose. I get to choose. Right, so. but I choose. You choose, and then we mark instead of yeah. you waiting for me to mark. Understood. We should do that. Okay. Um, so now, what are you going to choose? What direction? I'm going east. East. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, west. I can't tell my east from my west. I'm going west. Okay. All right, that's that. So this comes back here. Dice come. Did you score any I points with that? Um, no. Okay. That's there.
All right, ready? Yes. to do a riverboat and I'm going to do two partying. So. Okay, I'm going to start choosing because it takes me a long time to Go ahead. start drawing in. So um, I need to be on County Street or St. Ann Street. That's County Street. I'm going to do walk is reduced to one space for if you choose that. So I'm you think you think that's the same as what I'm thinking? Uh, that's it's the only a, thing I can think of. Because it wouldn't be against. It's I'm going to go. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be against me. Sure. Like it doesn't. It doesn't make sense to have it against you. I'm going to go to um, the French Market on Decatur Street, and that gets me one of those. Okay, so and I'm going to start moving while you do yours. Okay. And I map a two. So, like so. Oh, when you cannot map a number, you gain an umbrella instead. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Mm. I should have another umbrella because I was not able to do that once when I was here the first time. Yeah. Okay, mark that, mark that. This gets me a wild. Which I should do down here. And then I chose the green, that's a one, so I can move from one to three spaces. Um, I think I'm going to go one, two, three down here, which gets me a green. Mm -hmm. Seeing is reporting on the aftershock. Apparently, this one was a 4.0. Oof, still big. That's a big aftershock. Yeah, if the first one was the a first one. The first one was a 4.8. Yeah, but they're exponentially like they're okay. So I go here, and then I can. We are on round five now, right? Map. Yes. I can map here. That's a one. Yeah. Um. doesn't help me. Are the multipliers by the building number on the streets or by just the no, number of buildings? how many mapped buildings on that street. Okay, so it's so not... So right now, your Decatur Street... It was down here. ...has how many? Five, just two buildings. One, two? Yeah. So it, you're getting two points from that right, right now. Right, I know. Um, I just did this. Hold on. So if I go here, but I can... No, it doesn't matter the number. Okay. So it goes here. Doesn't matter the number. Doesn't matter the number. Can you? Did you decide you have to be on Decatur Street to map to that? I don't I think don't. so. I think it, it says just says map any, any number, building, any right? Matter to a building on Decatur Street. Okay. Um, and I'm so done. So you're done. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to choose this one, and that allows me to get another. Um, Multiplier down here, uh, and then I also get uh, Coulter up here, and then I get to move one space, so I will move. So I think I'm gonna one here, and since I can't map a one, I get another umbrella, which gives me another star, which. Okay, so I'm going to take the streetcar while you're thinking about that. I'm going to do this, which gets me a multiplier. Uh, move to any house on Dauphin Street, which is not what I wanted to do. But I do. That's not what I want to do. This is really complicated. <laughs> it's not that complicated, baby. You're I'm just overthinking it. Sure. So you but I can only move one because you did your thing. But you get a thing. Yeah, I got to do the thing. 
I get this. Which gives you a multiplier. It goes like this. And you can only move one. And I can only move one. And it's a four that you have to map. So you won't be able to map it either. I, I have think. a map any number on a building on Decatur Street. I have it underlined. I've already done it. Okay. So I can map that. Okay. So I want to go here, though. So I get one of these. And I get one of these. And then I can map any number there. So how do I map it? I guess I, oh, I just changed the die to the number to match so that it lines up, right? Sure. Because that would hair here. Okay, and that is done. Okay. Hmm. And that was round five. And then the rest chose socialize. Nope. Uh, no, I did. Oh. I did. Okay. So we're going to go south. to choose the strongest tornado I have been in was a F3 Oof. it destroyed downtown Fort Worth scary ouch super scary um, okay I think I'm going to choose I need a green Okay, so I'm going to choose Riverboat. Okay. Gets me one of these. Which gets you a walk is reduced to one space. Is that the next turn, you think? Or what do you think? If I choose walk right now, I'll only be able go. to move one space, not two. Which is what I did last time. Yes. Okay, so I have mine like underlined, so I know. I don't know what I just chose. I'm... Oh, red, thank you. I'm like, I'm confused. Decatur. Yes. So I can move to any street on Decatur Street. And I have Conti and St. Anne's. So um, I guess I will just go here. Nope. Um, here. I will go, yeah, I will go here, I guess. Move to any house on Decatur Street or North Front Street. That doesn't help me. North Front Street is only two things. So I will go here. When there are two houses on one block, they both count as this. They both have to line up. So I will just go here. And that will give me nothing. Oh, no, wait. I changed my mind. I will go here to the art fair. And I cannot map it so I can gain an umbrella. Okay. And that's my move. You don't have to wait for me. You can go while oh, I'm no, thinking. I'm still thinking. <laughs> I don't think too much. Oh. I'm going to use a streetcar. And I get a, an umbrella. <clears throat> and a party. And I can move to any place on Dauphin, so I'm going to go up to Harrow's Courtyard. And I'll circle it in, and then I can map it too. Go ahead. Mm. Um, I think I'm going to take the carriage. 
magic is. Um, that's scary stuff. They're so cool to watch from no, a distance, though. <laughs> or on video. That's even better. No, I think I'm going to take the three, which allows me to move one space. So it gets me one of these, and it gets me one of these, and um, and I can move one. Okay, I'm going to. Where's the police station? No idea. That'll be on Bourbon Street somewhere, right? I would think so. Um, or not. Oh, no, it's here. It's on Chartres Street. Chartres Street. All right. Um, um, I think I'll use the. That's going to be one. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, but I won't be able to use them. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with. Uh, the beginning of my sixth I'm going to go with the carriage, and that's going to get me an umbrella. And it's going to get me my choice. I'm going to choose to do a multiplier. And then I can't map the number five. Uh, I'm going to go, well, let me see. Maybe I can. One, two, three. Which does get me another one of those, which I do want. Because that's Decatur Street. Yep, that's what I'll do. One, two, three. Burr. And I'll map... A five there. That also gets me this up here. Um, so that's closer to a thing up there. All right. Now you chose socialize, so mm -hmm. you choose. We go in east or west or west. south. West. West. All right. So west. And now we check. Let me see. Right, we each have a house on that corner. Scoring. On the line has advanced, it then scored by all. Each player counts how many mapped buildings are touching the second line on their map. All right, so we may have added things to the map at this point. So, oh, for right, example, right. I have one, then I have another one up here mm -hmm. that's touching the second line. So right. I have two, so that allows me to go one, two, like that. Mm -hmm. And I just have one. You have one. One. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Okay. So this comes over here. And we should have, that Two should have been six, rounds. right? Yep. Two more rounds. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom and boom. Mm. All right. Choose first. Um, I think I will go with um, carriage. So that allows me to do one here, which gives me one of my choice, which I'm going to choose to do this one up here, which gives me another multiplier there. Then I get to do a Conti Street, which does this, which gives me a multiplier there. 
and then um, I can move one to three spaces with a four. So I'll move here, and that gets me another umbrella, and it also gets me another con uh, shopping, and I'll map the four right here. Go ahead. I was supposed to go at the same time as you, but I was getting confused. Um, oh, that's cool. Um, okay, 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 okay. I'm trying to go fast. I'm sorry. Never saw a genuine tornado, Kabuki Kid said. I used to watch uh, Storm Chasers. On... Well, I've never seen one live. Yeah, and I've never seen them. I don't. I don't think I ever want to be close to close enough to one to be able to watch it. But I used to watch Storm Chasers on um, the uh, Nat Geo channel, and uh, that okay. was something else. We went to go see the IMAX uh, show that they made while they were filming. Storm Chasers. Oh, one of the cool. one of the guys that was on Storm Chasers was under contract to make an IMAX film with all of the stuff that he made. And I've seen that show in an IMAX theater. That was something else. <clears throat> That's cool. <laughs> Storm Chasers are crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah they de they definitely have a couple crazy. couple screws loose. That's for sure. Um, I agree with that statement. Okay. I don't know how to do this. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm just gonna take my streetcar. Okay. And then streetcar. I'll start working on that and you can pick your thing. Mm -hmm. I go with this and that gets me this and a wild, which can get me um, this and then this. And then move to anyone on Dolphin Street, but I want to go. I think I want up to. Up here, because then I can map this. Okay, that's my first move. Do you have your second type? You have your I'm, first type? I'm going to go to. Uh, I'm going to use the. I'm going to pick my second while you're working on your first. Mm, go ahead. And that gets me... Wait a minute. That can't work. Why can't it work? Because what if I want to choose that? But I choose next. No, I choose first. So I chose, then you chose. Now I choose, and you choose. You can't just take whatever die you want. Well, then go faster. <laughs> really? Pot? Okay. <laughs> Because I'm getting confused over here, and I no, can't you just process have, this. You have to wait. What are you getting confused about? I I have to choose mine before you can even start thinking about yours. Then we screwed up. Why? You've ch I've chose one. You chose one. Now I need to choose one, and now you can choose one. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's nothing screwed up about it. I, I'm sorry. Um, move to any street on Decatur. Mm, it's got to be a six. That sucks. That doesn't help me at all. Crapola. Oh, well. I you can, can move, move to both sides of the street if that yeah, helps. Yeah, I know. I know. Any Anything. On, but I've got a bunch of low numbers for mapping down here. Mm. That's, um... No, I I don't want to choose that. Where was I? I was up here. I don't want to choose that because that's just too bad. 
Um, I will, however, choose this and I get a party, which I can do that um, if I want to. Um, and then I also get a Conti Street, I mean a St. Anne Street, a Mysticism. And then I can move one space, which again sucks because I can't. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Oh, no, it's not. It's just one. I can go one, two. It would be with two over. Crap. So is that what you're choosing? May I choose then? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to choose to go one space here. It gets me mm. another on St. Anne. But I don't I get to map, so I get that. I will take this. And I will move one. I like to Person. laminate sheets when I can. Laminating did not work for cartographer since you have to draw. True. First thing I do is I get to. I hate big trucks. <laughs> Lewis says. Wonder what prompted that. Okay, so I made it to this for the second thing. It says treat all umbrellas as double as double umbrellas. Score one point per um, star, on, star on your umbrella track. So at the end, um, I think game. right now you're going to uh, from I think now on. Anytime I, I land on an umbrella, I don't think I from points. I don't think from from now on. Oh, I think it's, it's just a one time. One time thing. So every time like if you get Another this and then you land on a on a building that also right. has that, you then get you to count get it as twice. Okay. And, and then, then the at the end of the game, each one of these okay. uh, So it is an will, end game thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting totally bamboozled. I move, I move. <clears throat> oh, biscuit. Um, mm, I don't know what I'm doing. I was here. To purple, so I can move one to two. I was here. I'm gonna go one, two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Then you can map your one if you want. Yep. Uh, that was it. that was the wrong one. You gotta do this one. Okay. Alrighty. So I chose to go south on the second line. So go ahead and draw mm -hmm. yours south and then count up how many buildings you have adjacent. Two. So just one, two? Yes. All right. So one, two. Okay. All righty, these come over to you. I drilled on myself. Look. Last round. Cool. These look over. Okay. Roll the dice. There we go. Four, four. Geez, a whole bunch of fours. Cool. Okay, I will. I'll just take this one. Okay. Process it. Doing that. 
so this counts as two for this round. So sure. I can mark off two umbrellas, you think? Yes. And then if you go to another spot, to a building mm -hmm. that has umbrellas, you can count that as buildings as, as two as well. All right. And then, okay, move one to three spaces. And I have three. So one, two. I did, I did. All right. Um. St. Peter Street, where's St. Peter Street? St. Peter, oh, it's this one. One, two, three. Yeah, that's not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna take this one. Uh, move to any space on Dauphin Street, which is way up at the top. So I think I'm going to go to Two Brothers Courtyard. But I get um. Umbrella, which gives me a star. So I'm going to... Where's Bourbon Street? Um, gives me a star, which I'm going to use, um, Conti, where's Conti? Conti is there, all the way there. So I'm going to use my free one for Conti right here, which allows me to get another multiplier. And then I get one of these which allows me to get another multiplier here. And then I can move to any place on Dolphin, which is that, which I got that, and then I can map a four. Uh, you took your second, so now I can take my second. I'll choose this, and that lets me get two parties. And I think I'm going to move uh, one space, and that allows me to map a four. But that allows me to get an umbrella. And the trumpet. Um, and so we're going to do that again. You chose socialize, so you can draw your line. So I'm going to go South. east. Yeah, you're going to go east. For east. Sure. So that is one, two, three, four. So I get one, two, three, four, and it gives me another umbrella. I had two. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, that is that, I guess, yeah? Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't even yeah, close I to do this. I do doing this. all that. But that's eight. All right. So if we go to game and final scoring activities, write down the total points you earned from all five activities. For each activity, your score is equal to the number of mapped buildings on the associated street multiplied by the highest unlocked score multiplier of that art, uh, uh, track. Um, okay, so for example, Decatur Street. I have on Decatur Street right here, I have one, two, three, four, five. Um, I don't, I guess that map maps, it's both sides, right? Both sides of the street? Yeah, I wondered that too. So I think it's one, it, two, It's like three. a whole block, right? One, Wouldn't two, that be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
times 2 is uh, 14. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 14. 7 times 2. Four, yeah. So 14 as well. So where do we write that? Right over here. Next to food. food. Okay. Now we go to culture, which is St. Peter Street. And uh, I don't so. Know where St. Peter Street is. St. Peter okay. Street is one of the vertical ones. It's right. this one right here. Uh, so the one. So I have one, two, three. Three. Three times two is six. Me too. And then shopping is Conti Street. Um, Conti Street is the one that's over here. This vertical, column over here. Yes. So I've got one, two, three times two. So that's six more points. I have five times two. Mysticism is St. Anne Street, which is the one that's all the way over on the yeah, left I side. That. I'm sorry, the right side. So I yeah. have one, two, three, four times three, three which three, is 12. Four, five, six, seven times two. 14. And then partying is Bourbon Street. Of course. So Bourbon Street is right, this one right here. So I have one, two, three I have one, times two, five is 15. Three, four. Four. There, times three. Oh, you have times five. Yeah, I have times four five. Four times three is 12. Okay, write down the total points you earned from the second line. You score for the second line is equal to the total number of boxes marked right. on the second line track. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Buildings. Write down the total points you earned from buildings. There are three types of special buildings. So the gift shops. I didn't score anything for the I gift shops. Two. You got two gift shops? No, I have two points for this one. Oh, okay. And that's it. That's it? All right. So I got um, one, uh, two, three courtyards. So that's 12 points. And then I also got eight points from visiting the Riverwalk Shopping and Aquarium twice. So that's 20 altogether. And then performers, write down the total points you earned from performers scored each of the two performer sets using the printed chart based on how many boxes you marked in that row. Okay, so for example, I marked one, two, three, four, five uh -huh. um, in this row, so I scored 10 points. Okay, one, two. I think that's how it goes, let me see. I don't know. I just noticed that, what too. What is this like, down here? I don't know what that is. I just saw that. What I is that? I just saw it, and I'm like, well, is that one of these things where it says, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I what that. is that? I have no idea. I wonder Map if... any number on St. Anne or Decatur, which we did, but I think we did that wrong then. I got it. What is that? I will be right back. I cannot make it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, we messed that up, I think. I don't know what that is down there. What is that? Um, I'm looking for it. Hold on. Hold on. It does not say anything. Oh, that's the performer track. Okay, so performers. Where does it talk about performers? Distance. For a performer icon, mark the topmost empty box of that type. Then mark the leftmost. Oh. Well, nutbag. Okay, so that would have been one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. So that would have done that, which would have given me two more up here, which wouldn't have really done anything. Um, but it would have given me one, two here. 
and map any street, anything on St. Anne Street. That would have given me three more points. Oh, but I would have done that. I would have given, oof. Well, bam, 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 bam. Yep. Um, well, I would have chosen that one, which would have given me this, which would have given me one, two, three, four, which would have given me 20 points on that, which is eight more, which means I would have gotten 28. And then performers, I just get 10. And then Jess here, she got one, two, three, four, five as well. So that would have been one, two, three, four, five, which would have given her one. That would have given her, let's do this. And that would have given her another multiplier here which means that she would have had on, and then she would have got another St. Anne's. I'm fixing yours as well. So I'm gonna say you got a three here, which gets you another one of these, which gets you four more points for that. So your buildings would have been six instead of two. What did we mess up on? We screwed up on something. I'll explain it to you in a minute. And then, I think that's all. I think that fixed you right there. All right, so what, what these are is every time you mark off one of these guys, yeah. you also mark off the leftmost thing over here, oh, which okay. gives you another bonus down here. Oh. So I, I mapped another St. Anne Street for you, which got you six points instead of two for, okay. having, for having that mapped. And I got eight more points because I mapped the Arsenal courtyard, and that gave me one, two, three, four courtyards oh. for 20 points, which is just eight more points. So I got 20, 26, 28, 38, uh, 43, 53, 63, 71, 91, 101. I'm pretty it. sure I got like 60. <laughs> you got 20, 30, 44, 46, 56, 61, 67, 77. What did I say I got? I don't know, 60. Yeah, I said like 77, 107 to 77. Yep. Yep, getting these multipliers up and but and then building on the right but streets. while you're doing that is building on the right streets. What is what, this game rated out of curiosity? I have no idea. I didn't look it up. Because I was making the face there quite a bit. And I'm like, I wonder what this was rated. Because well, well, I don't know. I did it. I mean, it was fine. And I enjoyed it. But uh, I'm curious to see what see. it's rated on BGG. I will check. Because there was a lot of parts there. Uh, let's see. B uh, board game geek. All right. Let's see. French quota. 2024, 2.2. Mm. Okay. And, and there were times where I was like, nope, can't do it. Can't get there. Can't figure it all out. Really? Too much. Too much. Because you got to, like you said, you got to build on the streets, but you got to get the peep, the things in that right thing to build on the streets. And then you got to move, and then you got to pick dice, and then you got to map, and then it was just a little. Well, the one thing that was too much was and it was points. difficult for me at first was the second line, but once we had a route, there was that a, that gave me more focus on what buildings I wanted to try to map. There was a, this one was nice. I thought about going for that. You should have done Start that. Start a personal second line on the map. Yeah, maybe. Because then you could have gone. Do, 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 and just boxed yeah. in your things. But even still, I mean, I think after the the route was marked, I was like, okay, well then I want to go mark, I want to go map this thing. I didn't think of that. And I want to go map I this thing here because then I, I was like, I got, 
I think I've, I think I got, got four like or five. got points or something down there. Yeah. No, I, no, 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 no. This was just one point per X. Right. I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't think of that at all. Yeah. Um, one thing I am thinking, wondering about, though, is that I wonder if it's just these buildings that right, are on I'm wondering Dolphin that Street. Too because but I don't think so because these don't have a street then. Right. These don't have a street, so they must be on Decatur Street. Well, of course these are. These are on Decatur Street. That's clear. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So if, if, if all of these are on Decatur Street, then all of these are on Dolphin Street, I think. I would think so, but I, I don't know that either. Yeah. It was um it was really fun. I liked it, it just there were points where I'm like, nope, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm marketing things and I don't know what's going on and um I did notice that it felt when we were taking individual turns. Well, it caused me to spin because I'm like, yeah. I don't know what to do and it's going to take me longer. Kabuki Kid said is a 7.5 on BGG. That is a, that's the rating. Right. Not the weight. She says right. she never, she hardly ever looks at weight. Um, and we both know that it's, it's an arbitrary number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she has found In certain that games that just go, I can't. There are, like if she goes over three. I, I tap nope, out. Nope. There's no way. She's done. But in between two and three, I'm usually it, pretty good. Usually pretty and good. And I got everything ish. Again, this is the first time we've played the game. Too. Yeah, yeah. Second ish. time we play the game, I don't think I, you will think have I'll be fine. nearly right. as much making right. the FaceTime. Right, right. Um, but uh, I don't understand how Castle Panic has player aids, but Brain Buster games are like you are on your own. <laughs> That's true. Um, well, I I did like it. Oh, I did too. I did like it. I did it. too. I, think I liked it's it. Interesting. Um, I don't know that I've been to. I mean, I think I probably have been to many of these places, but with them being spoof names, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't really uh, uh, well, know for sure. Instead of Home of Blues, it's House of Blues. We know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crescent City Cigar Factory is probably something. I mean, they're close, but um i i super liked it i thought it was super fun i just got a little confused at times yeah yep i did too but i think uh it's Next not time. difficult no it wasn't um, difficult i think we we should play it again and and uh a couple of times and yeah, then yeah. see how it works and then yeah. add in the mayor expansion or the variant yeah no i think that i want to i want to play it so sh i want to play it solo as well so it, it'll be no cool. i want to play it again i just uh i got myself confused yep all right. Well, we're going to get on out of here. We've been at it now for a whole three hours. Long time. Two games for three hours. Hmm. All right. Well, we are out of here. This one was longer than the first game. Yeah, but it's only because there was a little bit of analysis paralysis going on. Yeah. I don't, a lot. I don't. I do not think this is a hour and a half game at all. Right. Um, I think once we also started doing it at the same time, like you draw, yep. I draw, let's yep. go. Yep, yep, yep. That helped because otherwise you're like, this is. I, I think what we probably so should have done is we should have chosen our two. Our two. No. No. I choose, you choose. We do our thing. I choose, you choose. Yeah. We do our thing. I think yeah. that's how we. That's what we did. I think that's how everybody. Everybody chooses their first one. Now do your stuff. Right. And everybody then choose, choose your, your second, second one. one and do now do your stuff. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's a better play to do it. All it was right, fun. we're out of here. Have a great weekend. See you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or Pacific Daylight Time. Which are we on now? I don't know. Right. Pacific Time. 9 a.m. Pacific Time tomorrow morning for our live Q&A. We'll chat with you then. Until then, have a great Friday night. We're going to go watch a hockey game. We're going to go watch football practice first, and then we're going to go watch a hockey game. Yeah. So uh, it is game five of the WHL playoffs first round and we are down by three i think we are the last two teams playing all the other teams have, were, have been swept oh, have been sweeps S sweeps <laughs> that's the correct that's the correct <laughs> word um we are the last we are the last two teams playing in the first round i think and is it really the first is it of seven or is it of five it is uh of seven of seven yep so if we win we can go again for a couple we more can, rounds. We have they, they they travel back to Kelowna for game six. And then if we win there, we'll travel back here for game seven. And then we have to win again so that we have to win three games in a row in order to go on to the next round. 
Oh, man. They, if they beat us tonight, it's over. Yeah. Four games to one. Anyway, we're out of here. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Bye. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Okay. What are you doing? I just want you to stop. Come Siri. here. Come say hi. Come here. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. This is my good boy.